practice prepper. Wee! Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper. I know that preppers, we we generally spend 100% of our time down in a basement bunker, uh, just being in, in fear for our lives, but somehow I found myself on vacation on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but uh, I, I was here, and while I was here, I got a little too much sun exposure. You know, you go out to the beach with the boy before the sun comes up, you put sunblock on him, maybe he gets a little obstinate and doesn't want to walk home very quickly and you end up getting too much sun exposure. So that's what happened to me on my arms here. They were kind of glowing yesterday and uh, I felt like I wanted to treat them somehow. Now there was no aloe vera available at the house that we were staying at. I didn't have any kind of like a, a store-bought gel. Uh, but there was this kind of garden uh, that was near near the house. Uh, there's a bunch of grape vines kind of growing here. Uh, there were some herb gardens, and I noticed in one of the herb gardens uh, was a plant uh, called sedum that was growing. Now, this is sort of a wild plant up in the northeast that grows around, but people also grow it in their herb gardens. And it's kind of a, a succul succulent plant, and it has a lot of similar properties to aloe vera. Now, sedum you actually can eat uh, in small quantities. It has some, there are some issues if you eat large quantities of it. Um, so, you know, again, always look up everything that I say, you know, so you can get the specifics for your situation. Uh, though sedum is a kind of a fun thing to cook up. If you take it and you fry it, it bubbles up like a balloon because it has like kind of a skin on it. It's kind of fun to watch it, it, it cook a little bit. Uh, but one of its properties is, like I said, like aloe vera. It can be used on sunburn wounds. So I, I took some of that that I found just growing in this garden that had kind of gone feral, um, used a, a dish and a spoon as a mortar and pestle, m mushed it up, and I got it all over my arms, and right away I could feel the, uh, the cooling effect and it took a lot of the, um, well, just the, the feeling of discomfort away, and it initiated the healing process all that much faster. Now, is it as good as aloe vera? No, but it's better than nothing and is what I had available. So that's it. The more of that stuff you know, the more resources you realize that are right at your fingertips sometimes. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.